Tonight only on NBC Bay Area, a new story. Another San Jose police officer arrested and placed on leave. This time it's for driving under the influence as he was pulling into work. It's an alarming case and the latest in a growing number of allegations against San Jose officers. But investigative reporter Candace Wynn found sources say there are extenuating circumstances in this arrest. Sources with direct knowledge of the investigation tell our investigative unit the officer experienced a recent family tragedy, the violent death of a parent a few months before his DUI arrest on July 8th, an arrest that happened right in front of police headquarters. The officer was about to start his workday armed and operating a police car. Sources tell us the officer was driving his personal car into the department's parking lot under the influence when his car made contact with another officer's vehicle. A supervisor was called and the officer heading into work was arrested right there on police property for being impaired. After the arrest, the department and police union made sure the officer turned in his weapons and police vehicle and then entered an inpatient rehabilitation program. Sources say he did both voluntarily. Assistant Chief Paul Joseph agreed to speak with us. Can you respond to the concern that this officer came dangerously close to putting the public at risk, showing up to work, about to respond to calls armed and under the influence? I absolutely understand that concern, and I share that concern, as does Chief Mata. Um, obviously, we don't want a police officer to be impaired while on duty, and we addressed that situation immediately as soon as it came to our attention. Two months ago, the chief announced a department-wide reform plan that includes increased random drug and alcohol testing of officers and a wellness check-in program. This came after a series of concerning incidents involving San Jose officers, a number of them also involving reports of substance abuse. In March, Officer Dijon Packer died from fentanyl poisoning. Marijuana and alcohol were also in his system, according to the coroner's report. In April, another officer was accused of showing up to a baby's kidnapping crime scene drunk. In May, an off-duty officer was arrested for DUI. Days later, the chief publicly escorted Officer Matthew Dominguez out of the department after he was accused of responding to a family's call for help and then masturbating in front of family members. Dominguez was charged with indecent exposure to which he's pleaded not guilty. He's also facing unrelated sexual battery charges. And then after the announcement of the reform plan and just last week, our investigative unit told you about Detective Ismail Limuz. The 20-year department veteran is charged with embezzlement and tampering for allegedly using an unmarked police car as his personal vehicle for months. What exactly has been implemented in regards to officer mental health substance abuse checks? Well, we're having uh, a psychologist who's visiting the department next week and is going to do presentations at all of our patrol briefings. And this is someone who specializes in substance abuse and uh, post-traumatic stress for first responders. We can't ignore that there have been a number of alarming allegations against officers just in the past recent months. The community here wants to know what exactly is going on? Well. What I think is going on is that with Chief Mata, you've seen an administration that's willing to own up to mistakes that are made here at the police department that's not going to sweep anything under the rug or cover anything up. The public can feel confident that if we're aware of a problem or if we're aware of misconduct, it's going to be handled. We've tried speaking with this officer. The police department says he's unreachable right now. The police chief says holding supervisors accountable for missing or overlooking clear warning signs in the officers they oversee is part of his reform plan. Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Candace. If you have a story for our investigative unit or Canvas specifically, you can call 888-996-TIPS or you can visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations. Now, we've been following the department's issues all year, and you can find full coverage of all the cases on our website at nbcbayarea.com. San Francisco police issued a warning.